I've played tennis all of my life, but usually on city hard courts. We're here at the historic West Side Tennis Club in Forest Hills, New York, to play on this stuff. The glorious grass, the real thing they play on in Wimbledon. Let's find out. Playing on grass, how hard can it be? What's the best tip you can give somebody who's going out to play grass for the first time? Don't let the ball bounce. Don't let the ball bounce. Absolutely. Once it bounces, all bets are off. All bets are <laughs> off. I hear a lot about staying low. Once like, you play it on grass for the first time, you'll find you'll have to stretch the next morning because you're going to feel it in the glutes because you do have to bend a lot. And trying to power a ball that is down low, yep. as in when you're using slice, the ball stays very low. Right. So trying to hit up with power becomes quite detrimental. I mean, the thing about grass, it feels like you're sneaking around upstairs at somebody's house. There's just something strange about it. It just is not a familiar sensation compared to traditional hardcore tennis. I, I guess this is traditional tennis. I don't even know what traditional hardcore tennis is. I can already tell that Bob was right, and I'm going to need 14 Advil and maybe a bourbon tonight. Uh. They always used to say about the great John McEnroe, who of course was from New York City, great soft hands, playmaker, a shot maker, and you really see on a surface like this how it rewards an intelligent tennis player, I'm not an intelligent tennis player, but it rewards a tennis player who has soft hands, the ability to think quickly and to make quick shots, placement over power. You cannot be serious. We got some good tips today. Keep that body low. Try not to let it bounce. Keep going to the net. All those things you forgot in your tennis lessons, you got to remember them out here. It'll keep you on your toes. So when you're watching Wimbledon and you're wondering how hard is it, it's pretty hard.